This is the new Olight Balder SBL. Let's get into it. All right guys, now before we get into the video, I wanted to mention that Olight is having their O-Fan Day from now until September 23rd. And during that, so you can get this, the brand new Bowder SBL for just $103. That's opposed to the normal price of $130. Also, if you are a new customer, you can go ahead and make an account and you'll get an i3e and antique bronze for completely free. Now, if you have placed an order before on the Olight web store, you can sign in and get the new iMorris and Gunmetal Gray for completely free. And also, there's a bunch of savings, not just on this light, but all of the lights on their website you can get up to 45% off on some selected items. So go ahead, click that link in the description, check out the sale. Now, if you missed the sale, don't worry, because you can still get 10% off anything on the LA web store besides the X9R using the coupon code APARMS. Link in description. Included in the box is the light, the user manual, the magnetic charging cable, a 1913 rail adapter, as well as a couple replacement screws. All right, so here it is. This is the Olight Bowder S BL. And here I have the light in this awesome gunmetal gray color. And BL stands for blue laser. That's right, this is a small weapon light, but it also has an integrated blue laser. Let's go ahead, start up front at the lens. You can see this is a crystal clear lens and it's got a really shiny, smooth reflector. And in that reflector, if you look closely, there's a little hole in there and that is where your laser is emitted from so your laser is actually emitted from behind the main lens as opposed to being mounted anywhere else on the light if we go along the top you can see your rail adapters up there now you can see that the one that's currently in this is marked GL that stands for Glock but like I previously showed in the package it comes with a 1913 rail adapter so the reason it has this is because that old Glocks gen 1 through 4 have a slightly tighter slot in the rail and if you tried to use a standard 1913 rail adapter it wouldn't fit so because of that it includes this Glock adapter. Now, if you want to use this light on anything that's not a Glock, you need to swap out this for the 1913 adapter. Because if you put this as is on any standard 1913 rail, it's going to have some play forward and backward. On the side here is your mount. You can see this is a really nice QD lever mount. And on the other side is an adjustment screw. So right out of the box, this fits my gun perfectly, but it might not fit yours. It could be a little loose or a little tight. If it's a little loose, just pull it back off and tighten this screw a quarter turn until it is perfect. And if if it's a little tight, just loosen that screw until you get perfect fitment. Now, another really cool feature about this light is that when the mount is loose, you have a glide lock feature. So you can slide this forward and backward by a substantial distance and that'll help get perfect fitment on whatever gun you're running. Moving on the right side, you can see you have your markings here, as well as your marking for the glide lock. And right under that are your windage and elevation screws for the laser. So you can adjust this laser and get it zeroed in perfectly. Below that are your markings. And then on the bottom of the light, you see your magnetic charging port. Now this is how you charge the light. In the box, it comes with that magnetic charging cable and all you do is stick it on that to charge it. It even has an LED indicator on the cable to show you when it is fully charged or when it is still charging. Red means that it's charged charging while green means that it is fully charged. Another thing I want to mention about the charger. Now this takes Olight's special charger. If you notice on the actual charger it says special and that means it has a reverse polarity against their standard charger. So if you have any normal Olight products the chargers are not going to be compatible unless it says special on it. Now right behind that is your main selector switch for the three different modes. So this is how you control when your light or your laser come on and I'll get more into this when I talk over how the light works. On the right side you also have an LED status indicator to let you know when the battery is getting low and on the very back are your dual pressure switches for activating the light and here i wanted to do a quick size comparison between what i would say is the go-to standard light that most people would look for this is the streamlight tlr1 hl and this will be a full-size pistol light and i do have a clear lens protector on there that's not normally on there but that really doesn't affect the size that much so if we look from the side they almost appear to be the same thickness however you can see that the bowder is significantly shorter 
And looking at the lenses, you can see a massive difference in size. The lens on the Streamlight is huge in comparison to the Olight. And from the top down, you can really see the differences here. Look how much smaller the Olight is. Now, what's worth mentioning is that this is not a full-size light. This is sort of a compact weapon light compared to the Streamlight. Olight does make full-size weapon lights that are similar in size to the Streamlight. So even though this comparison isn't entirely fair, I still think it's cool to look at. All right, now I wanted to go over a few of the specs. So starting with the brightness and runtime specifications, in low mode with the laser turned off, it has an output of 100 lumens and it's going to run for 140 minutes. In high mode, it has 800 lumens. After that, it steps down to 37% and it will run for an additional 42 minutes. With the laser turned on in low mode, it keeps the same 100 lumen output, but it'll only run for 130 minutes. And then in high mode, it'll again run at 800 lumens for one minute straight. And then it will step down again to that same 37%, but it will only run for 40 minutes instead of 42. So not a big difference there. And with the laser by itself, it has a max output of 5 milliwatts with a runtime of 21 hours. And in case anyone is interested, the wavelength on the laser is 440 to 460 nanometers. That's how you get that ultra deep violet color. This light also has a maximum throw of 130 meters. And obviously that does not apply to the laser. The laser will go substantially longer than that, almost infinite. This has a length of 2.48 inches, a width of 1.28 inches, and a height of 1.4 inches. It has a weight of 3.35 ounces. It is IPX4 waterproof rated and it has a one meter drop test rating. So let's go ahead get this guy mounted up and then go over how the light functions. First thing you want to do whenever you're handling a firearm is make sure it is unloaded. So installing this light with that QD lever is just super easy and straightforward. Just put it on, close the lever, good to go. I also wanted to show that glide lock feature again. So if we loosen the lever, see it stays mounted on the firearm, but you can move forward and backward. So if I wanted it to pull fully against my trigger guard and lock it down, you can. However, I prefer it be pushed up a couple clicks. So going to the bottom of the light, this switch again is how you control when the laser and the light come on. I'm gonna start pushing it all the way to the left and you can see that stands for light only. Now if I activate the light, you can see that only the light comes on. You can hold the switch for momentary on and the second you release the switch, it will turn off or you can tap it to get constant on. And then to turn it off, just tap it again. Now the standard output is going to be high mode, but if you wanna change it over to low mode for indoor usage, just double tap the switch. And now you can see it's in that 100 lumen low mode. Put it back to high, just double tap it again. Now again, low mode might be really useful for indoor use. If you wake up in the middle of the night, that 800 lumens bounced against the wall is gonna be super blinding. So that 100 lumen mode may be what you wanna use. Now, if we push the switch to the middle setting, you can see that stands for laser and light. So now when we activate the light, both the light and the laser come on. And the way the light works is exactly the same. You have your momentary and your constant on, and you can also put it in the low mode. And here in low mode, you can see just how bright that laser really is. And what's worth mentioning is that even with the light on, you can still change your settings. You don't have to have the light turned off to do that. So now if we bring it all the way to the left, that's gonna be just your laser. So now you can see that the laser is the only thing on. And the camera is having a bit of trouble picking this up. And on laser mode, it still functions exactly the same. You have your momentary on as well as your constant on. And with it mounted on the firearm, you can really get to feel that switch. It does have some nice raised texturing on it. All right, so let's go ahead and take this out at night and see how it looks. All right guys, so here we are at night with the Bowder SBL. Let's go ahead and enter low mode with the laser disabled. All right, you can see this 100 lumen level is clearly enough for indoor use. Let's go ahead and swap it over to high mode. All right, now you can see how much power that 800 lumens is. Now this would definitely be plenty of power for either indoors or outdoor use. All right, let's go ahead and activate the laser. There you can see that bright blue laser in conjunction with the high mode. Now on camera, the light kind of masks how bright the laser is, but in person, it is super bright. All right, let's swap it over into low mode with the laser. All right, now you can start to see just how bright that laser is while the light is being used. All right, and let's swap it over to laser only. All right, now you can really see that awesome deep blue violet color. You can also see how bright this laser is. All right, so going over my overall opinions, I think this light is really sweet. You get some really cool technology with it, especially that blue laser. That blue laser looks really awesome in comparison to a standard green or red laser. I especially like how that laser module is hidden behind the lens. It's not stuck on the bottom of the light like a lot of other ones that I have used. And that 800 lumen power output paired with this really small chassis just makes this a nice little light. 
So anyway guys, be sure to click that link in the description and check out the OFAN day. There's a lot of cool sales on the website, not only on this light, but any of the other lights that they have. And again, don't worry if you miss the sale, you can still get 10% off anything on the Olight web store using the coupon code APARMS. But anyway guys, if you liked the video, be sure to hit like, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, ring the bell so you're notified of all my future uploads, and I'll see you later.